Hi, welcome to the film and TV lighting webinar. My name is Xavier Ferraz and I'm the marketing manager at ProLight. We're going to talk about the revolutionary ECL panel TWC and ECL panel TWC Junior. It's been a year since we've released the ECL panel TWC, a two by one compact LED soft light with lots of color options and very soft light. Since uh, that year, uh, ProLights has been able to tap into a new market, one that looks uh, for high quality, uh, reliable fixtures uh, for actually a very competitive and good return on investment uh, pricing. So what are these fixtures? Uh, the ECL panel TWC, it's a two by one uh, compact soft light. The ECL panel TWC Junior is a one by one compact soft lights. Let's have a look at each of them individually. So the ECL panel TWC, um, the two by one uh, compact soft lights, that's a 740 watt RGB plus warm white uh, LED source with a very high uh, CRI value and a very high TLCI value as well. We actually have um, eight section pixel control and built in lighting effects for cinema and kind of uh, TV applications as well. We have a silent operation with multiple fan modes. So if you're worried about uh, the, the actual noise of the uh, unit, uh, you have nothing to worry about. You can actually select different uh, fan speeds and work in very kind of silent uh, broadcast applications as well. If you're using the units in uh, other settings and environments, for example, in kind of the entertainment uh, world where you're working in uh, very hot environments, uh, we can choose different fan uh, noises uh, uh, modes as well. Uh, and kind of increase the noise a little bit, um, but obviously keeping the unit uh, very cool and, and very high uh, functioning uh, with the uh, bright output without kind of compromising on the quality of, uh, of set outputs. We also have a battery connection as well, so if you want to use these uh, units on location, uh, we have a 4-pin XLR uh, that's compatible with kind of third-party external batteries as well. Um, let's look at the ECL panel uh, TWC Junior. Uh, so that's a 370 watt uh, panel. So these panels are not actually driven at their full potential. So the ECL panel TWC Junior is driven at uh, 220 uh, watts. And then the uh, ECL TWC is driven at 430 watts. So on the uh, Junior panel, so we have uh, 370 watt uh, RGB plus warm white uh, LED sources, again, with very high CRI values, so 94 CRI and a very high TLCI value of 92. Um, on this one, because it's a one by one panel, we have four section pixel control, again, with the same built-in lighting effects uh, for cinema applications and TV. Again, the same uh, fan modes as well, so the different fan modes and the battery connection with a four pin XLR connection for uh, the compatibility with the external batteries with those uh, third party batteries. Let's have a look at um, the color uh, control as well on these panels. So we have uh, color control plus uh, hue and saturation. Uh, with that, so we have the CRI greater than 92, uh, very high RA value on R9, so 97 value, the, CLT, the TLCI value up to 93. As we can see, we can reproduce very nice uh, saturated colors as well as uh, pastel colors as well. We have CCT control, so from 2800 Kelvin um, upwards of, of uh, 10,000 Kelvin, as we can see here. Um, very nice uh, kind of control from, uh, from very warm white colors to uh, very um, uh, high uh, uh, colors, very cold colors. We also have plus and minus green color correction as well, uh, very important for kind of the broadcast uh, film applications as we can see here. And then we have the uh, zones control, so we can do kind of a, a pixel a zone mapping uh, kind of control. And that's really uh, useful for generating different effects for camera as well. And we can kind of map these uh, zones with DMX. Then we've got a very easy to control uh, knobs, so with a very intuitive menu structure. We also have a wireless AMX, so you can set up a transmitting station remotely and not worry about running wires to any of the uh, fixtures. We have a very intuitive menu. All of the effects can be achieved uh, and recalled through this menu and the buttons that we have on the back of the panel. And next up, let's talk a little bit about the effects. Uh, so we have a range of different uh, pre-built effects that you don't have to, uh, to, to do with any console. So from kind of cop car uh, here, as we can see, using the different uh, zone control, uh, we have kind of a, a paparazzi effect. So with all the flashes uh, from the cameras, again, very easy to recall. And we can recall these effects through the menu on the back of the units, as we can see. 
So we can see here the paparazzi mode also uses this kind of the different zones to generate a, a very realistic effect. Uh, we also have kind of uh, fire effects, for example, for kind of a more uh, traditional kind of incandescent light uh, type of thing. Very easy to achieve as well. We can also control um, the dimming on these effects. We have a, a welding effect here, uh, as we can see here in the example. So kind of a very fast uh, strobe. As we can see here on the uh, ECL uh, TWC Junior, uh, we can also see like a lightening effect again with that uh, strobe technology that we have uh, pre-built. Uh, again, a very kind of realistic effect um, made by uh, lighting designers, as we can see here. And there's a, a wider range of effects. Uh, so we can see here on this image, so from kind of the, uh, the cop uh, effects that, that we've seen, the fire and the candle, uh, we also have uh, effects like fireworks, paparazzi, uh, television party, uh, cloud effects, a kind of a, a clubby uh, type of party effect, um, uh, different explosions. We can also create like a fluorescent uh, feel. So for example, um, if we're working on, uh, on location and we kind of want the old type of fluorescent looks, we can achieve that uh, through the pre-built effect as well, along with like pulsing controls. And then uh, we can create like a different kind of uh, color choice effects. Um, easily recalled through the uh, menu as well. Um, next up, um, you can actually take the CL panel TWC and TWC Junior um, anywhere using that kind of DC power input. So the CL panels are engineered with a, a power supply and the LED driver on board, so there's no external driver. Uh, it's all pre-built into the same units as we see here. Uh, we can also connect that uh, third-party battery through the uh, four ports um, XLR connection and kind of take the panel everywhere. This is very different from uh, kind of other panels that are uh, out there um, on the market today. So the, uh, the ECL panel TWC and TWC Junior are kind of the self-contained units, so there's no external driver. Uh, so all the electronics are on the back of the panel and then you can just quickly uh, plug in the uh, TrueCon connector and power up your, um, uh, your uh, soft lights uh, using that, uh, the, the mains power or using the 4-pin XLR and connecting the battery to it. There's also a range of accessories for the uh, for both of the ECL panel, TWC and TWC Junior, as we're going to see through this video as well. So we have accessories like uh, egg rate uh, with 60 degree angle, and then we have a 30 degree egg rate as well. There's a snap grid uh, for both panels as well, an egg rate with eight chambers. We also have uh, barn door accessories. We have snap bags, all made by DOP choice and we can uh, control all of our units with pull operation. There's a whole range of accessories that you can check on our website. All of these accessories are made by uh, DOP choice. Uh, and as we, can, as we can see, we can kind of shape our lights out of the panel in very multiple ways. So this is a list of some of the, uh, the accessories that we have. So from kind of pole operated aluminum yoke brackets. So whether you're installing these units in a studio uh, or kind of a TV studio, photography studio, uh, or kind of a broadcast setting, you can do that and you can operate both uh, tilt and pan using the uh, yoke brackets. We also have barn doors, so you can control the uh, spill that comes out of the uh, soft lights. Um, we also have some uh, diffusion filters as well. So if you want to kind of control the, um, the light output and kind of increase the output, we can use that uh, diffuser filter. We have the uh, air crates here, so kind of uh, shape the, uh, the beam outputs from the, um, from the units. Um, and the whole, uh, whole range of accessories, so from uh, snap bags uh, made by uh, the OP choice, uh, snap grids, um, the uh, snap bags and the uh, rabbit here, so we can fit all of the accessories uh, made by the by uh, the, the company, the DOP Choice. Uh, again, all of these um, accessories, so we have with the rabbit ears, uh, we can use uh, accessories like the uh, snapback lantern, for example. So if we want to use this as a space light, uh, we can do that. Uh, we also have the uh, snapback um, cover, so if we want to uh, that space light to kind of focus all of the light into one direction, we can use that. Um, the snapback medium uh, are mounted with the rabbit ears, again, made by uh, DOP Choice, again, uh, same with the uh, snapback medium. Uh, we also have the uh, Okta um, three inches bags, um, along with the uh, kind of the, the 40 degree snap grids um, and the uh, Okta five inch as well. We also have um, an accessory, the 
intensifier. So the intensifier filters kind of increase the uh, light's uh, intensity um, up to 40% while maintaining a very kind of homog homogenized and soft uh, projection of lights. Uh, the increase of intensity uh, is achieved by conveying some of the uh, spill lights going off the side and redirecting uh, that light in a more kind of straight uh, projection. So uh, there's a kind of a high transparency microstructure surface with the uh, conical shaped prism and a very high optical efficiency of upwards of 95%, uh, as we can see there. So we can see here a comparison of the MD filter and the intensifier filter. Um, as you can see, to kind of homogenize the uh, light levels uh, when multiple units are illuminating on the same target, uh, we can focus the fixture with the intensifier filter in a more kind of distant position and the one with the standard MD filter working more near the fields. Uh, this is very common uh, in motion picture on or on uh, green uh, screens, uh, uh, green screen studios, where fixtures are hanged in a ceiling structure. Um, so all of these fixtures, uh, all of these accessories rather, are available through uh, ProLights as well. Uh, finally, we have a new accessory uh, made by the OP Choice, the uh, Snapback Lanterns, a uh, lantern that does not need the uh, rabbit ear accessories. So this new Snapback uh, is made by the OP Choice and allows to produce a very flattering soft light in a variety of different ways. So lanterns are very versatile uh, and can be used in different scenarios like uh, green screens, like interviews, uh, or any application where you kind of need a, a very natural uh, light look onto a person, onto an object, um, or onto a set or a green screen, for example. Uh, finally, if you go to our uh, page on the prolights.it website, you can find a load of um, technical documentation and personality files for all of the industry standard uh, desks, so like uh, Grand MA, ETC, uh, Avalites, etc. We also have available a lot of, a lot of the uh, drawings, so whether it's a 2D, 3D uh, drawing of these fixtures you can find through the website, along with all the photometric reports uh, they can find there and kind of um, assess the, the, the quality um, and the, uh, the reproduction of the, uh, the light. Uh, you can see through those uh, photometrics. All of the photometrics are uh, done in-house by our team of uh, R&D specialists, uh, and we actually measure all of the light in different conditions, uh, so with different colors, uh, with different uh, white values, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, so you can have a very accurate photometric uh, report. Finally, we have all of the uh, data sheets uh, available, along with the DMX charts, user manuals, etc., um, and the uh, safety instructions uh, as well on the uh, website. So as you can see here, this is kind of an example of the uh, photometric reports that we generate. Um, there's a lot of uh, information there you can find from CRI values to uh, TLCI values as well, along with all of the uh, kind of color spectrum measurements that you get from the ECL panel TWC and TWC Junior. That's it for me. I hope uh, you found this uh, webinar uh, useful on the uh, TV lighting uh, and film lighting uh, products that we have here at ProLights. I do encourage you to visit our website, prolights.it. Thank you.